Today I'm going to talk to you about humic acids. Humic acids are a common additive into lawn and garden fertilizers and specialty products these days. In years past, uh, it wasn't quite as common. Today it's pretty easy to find fertilizers that contain humic acid or focus on humic acid as the primary product that you're putting on the lawn. Let's talk about humic acid and understand a little bit more about how it works and why we put it on the lawn. Humic acid is one of the more common additives into fertilizer and lawn products these days. The thing is, humic acid is not actually a macronutrient, nor is it a micronutrient. It's not really a nutrient at all. It's a product that's put onto the lawn to serve a couple main purposes. Now, there are lots of small purposes for using humic acid. And I have all of those purposes uh, kind of detailed out on my website, which I have linked down below in the description if you care to take a look. But quite honestly, there are two really main purposes of putting humic acid onto the lawn by itself or to use a product that, can, that includes humic acid. Before you understand why we put it on the lawn, first you need to really kind of understand that humic acid tends to be two different substances all kind of combined together. You've got humic acids and fulvic acids. They're both extracted from the same rock at the same time. I have an entire video about where we get humic acid from. It's linked up in my upper left corner and down in the description below. I definitely recommend you take a look at that because it is pretty interesting to know where humic acid comes from. Also, it's not actually an acid. Why do we call it an acid? <laughs> Leave it in the comments below. I have no idea why we call it an acid. Because it's not an acid. These are basically molecular chains of uh, organic, let's call it ancient organics. So plant-based organic matter from millions of years ago has been compressed under, underground for millions of years. Before it turns into coal, it turns into a product called leonardite. It's another rock. It's kind of a crumbly rock. It is very, very carbon-based because there's no nutrients left in it. However, during that compression over millions of years, the molecules inside this rock start rearranging themselves into somewhat of a chaotic state. Two different states are fulvic acid, which is a more, let's call it a less mature state, and humic acid, which is a more mature state. Both of these molecular structures are not regular. That basically means to me that they are still in the stage of metamorphosis. They are slowly turning into coal, but they haven't made it there yet. The fulvic acid molecules are smaller than the humic acid molecules. In most products, let's call it like this right here, that's just straight uh, humic acid as a granular form. Most products contain humic and fulvics together because that's how they're extracted. That's how they're produced in, in uh, factories and manufacturing plants. But they can be separated after the fact. So every now and then you're going to find a product out there like this one and many others that contain only fulvic acid. Fulvic acid is the smaller molecule that is the actual molecule that can get absorbed into the plant itself. Now, Fulvic acid, again, is not a nutrient. It's not going to make your plant, make your grass plant or garden or whatever it is that you're, you're dealing with. It's not going to improve it on its own, but it does work like a crossing guard at the neighborhood school. Other nutrients that either are already in your soil or other nutrients that you're putting into the soil will hold hands with the fulvic acid and enter the root system of the plant more efficiently when the fulvic acid is there. So if you do a fall fertilization, like let's call it like a winterization fertilizer product, maybe in November, all of that, all of those nutrients go into the soil and they're available for the, for the plant. However, during the winter, that plant goes into dormancy and it's not growing and it's not absorbing. It's literally just sleeping and hibernating. So come spring, there is nutrients in the soil and if you add a product like humic acid, which contains fulvic acid into it, 
the fulvic acid is going to allow the current nutrients that are in the soil, whether it be potassium or phosphorus or nitrogen or iron, or whatever it is, they're going to hold hands, molecularly speaking, they're going to bond together and then walk together into the root system of that plant and help it use the nutrients that are already available. Now, other products like this, this is, uh, this is our RGS, this is a root growth stimulant product um, from uh, the next line. This contains humic acid and sea kelp. This product is going to help stimulate root growth, but a lot of that has to do with the humic acid, not necessarily the sea kelp. Now, certainly the sea kelp is going to help, but the humic acid molecules don't actually go into the plant. It's the same thing with this product right here. This is the simple aeration product uh, from ChemWise. Uh, this is also a potassium and iron and humic acid blend. The humic acid goes down onto the lawn and it goes into the soil, but the molecules are too big to really get absorbed into the plant itself. Now, some of the fulvic that, it, that resides inside the humic is going to pull some of those nutrients into the plant, but the humic acid molecules are gonna stay in the soil. And remember, these products are coming from a highly carbon-based uh, rock. It's almost coal. I mean, coal is like 80% carbon, and leonardite, the precursor to coal, is about 60% carbon. The product of humic acid is putting organic, kind of natural carbon into your soil, and that carbon is what the actual bugs, like the, the microorganisms, the bacteria, the beneficial fungi, the mycorrhizal fungi, um, all of the things that you want in the soil thrive when there is carbon, when there is this organic plant-based carbon material that's in the soil. And that's what the humic acid adds to the lawn. So once that humic acid goes into the lawn, the fulvic helps the plant uptake nutrients better, more efficiently, quicker, and the humic acids stimulate that microbial life, all of those little microscopic things that happen in the soil to make dead soil alive again. That's what the humic acids do. Now, again, like I said, on my website, I've got a list of benefits of applying humic acid to the soil. Make sure to take a look at that. But the two that I'm talking about here are the most important in my opinion. Good job. <laughs> she did. She defeated Minecraft for the first time. Good job, baby. Now, the granular humic acids, these things take time to break down and incorporate into the soil. There are many liquid products. I use liquid products probably more than granulars in my lawn. Um, this product has a liquid uh, humic in it. This product has a liquid humic. I have other liquid humics in the garage, both standalone and mixed with other things. When you put, I, I want to emphasize this one more time, when you put down a product that is humic acid and something else, the humic acid ingredient includes those fulvic acid molecules, which allow for better uptake into the plant itself. So whether you put down putting down a uh, potassium product or an iron product or a nitrogen product, if there is humic acid in there, then you're going to be able to uptake more nutrients into the plant quicker and more efficiently. And then the extra humic acid molecules are going to sit on the lawn and improve the soil structure of your lawn. So we all see lawn conditioner on the bags of uh, lawn and garden products all the time. In my opinion, that's kind of a generic term because it means different things to different products, different, different ingredients that you're putting on the lawn. With humic acid, that lawn conditioning is actually improving the soil structure by improving the microbial life in the lawn itself, not in the lawn, in the soil under the lawn where the root zone is. That's where you want everything to be. When that soil is healthier, as it continues to get healthy over time, the root structures of your plants are going to start going deeper and they're gonna be able to uptake nutrients a little bit more efficiently, which means they'll be healthier. So when it comes to cold weather, like what I'm recording this in right now, they're going to tolerate cold weather better. They're gonna to tolerate heat better. They're gonna to tolerate drought better. If the soil itself is healthy, your grass is going to find it much easier to thrive and stay healthy without you doing anything extra. Now, of course, doing 
anything extra really i mean you're putting humic acid on the lawn so you are doing something but the thing is it's much easier and cheaper to put humic acid on the lawn and improve the health of your soil system and put fewer nutrients onto the grass because they're able to use the nutrients in the grass better so the reason that humic acid is being introduced into so many products these days and being available as standalone products is because it's not like it's a snake oil it doesn't do everything it does two main things it helps plants uptake nutrients and use them more efficiently and it helps the soil structure improve over time so that the plants can be healthier next year compared to this year and then the year after that compared to next year and so forth i really recommend you take a look at the video that i've got linked down below about where humic acid comes from because i add a lot more information into this uh, kind of conversation i definitely think humic acid is important but it is not the most important thing like if you want to just forego using humic acid as a product or buying specialty products that include humic acid in it it's not necessary over the course of time your lawn will improve if you do general maintenance practices again i've got an entire video about zero cost lawn repair or pretty close to it uh, it's going to be linked up here in the right hand corner um, if you don't want to buy anything you don't have to make sure to watch that video it just takes longer if you're not going to buy product um, anyway i hope this video was helpful please consider subscribing if you haven't already and i hope to see you in the next video maybe my spring lawn care guide make sure to hit the button and take a look thanks